Hello, and welcome to Ground Tech Detector. In this video, I'll explain the 4D analysis mode that came with the new update for our GR3 and GR3+. First, the 4D analysis mode emphasizes different intensity levels, making object boundaries and shapes more distinct. It shows the density of different materials layer by layer, making it easier to distinguish structures like metal, cavity, and stone. It makes the boundaries between different materials clearer, allowing for more accurate detection. It reveals the layers of metals and also the soil covering them, making shapes more visible. Now I'm switching to the GR3 mode on our GR3 Plus device right here. I'm recording the screen on my tablet. I'm switching to GR3 mode. I've navigated to the file section. I'm selecting any file. I've hovered over the file I selected. As you can see, there's no 4D option here. There's a section for normal soil layers. We have numerical values, def analysis, filters, etc. I haven't updated yet. We want to do the update with you on video. I'm going to the Play Store now. I'm going to the search section in the Play Store. I'm typing GR3 Plus here, and it shows update GR3 Plus right here. I'm pressing update. It may update faster or slower, depending on the internet speed. It's just completed the update. It's installing the app. Let's wait. We'll wait for the app to open. Now we'll show how 4D can be analyzed, what can be done, and also how it can be used. I'm selecting to open GR3 directly. Yes, now our app is updated. I'm going back to the file section. I'm opening any data file, a sample file. In this sample file I see here, the blue part in the upper right corner is a cavity. The area on the left is actually metal. Remember what we have done here. When doing 3D analysis before, we've analyzed like this. We were able to zoom in and out. We'd press the first icon to get the top view. We were working with numerical values here. So we're actually looking at the soil structure. The soil structure here is in the range of 78, 77, 80. The blue has dropped from 80 to 40 here. So there's a difference of 40 units. Normally it should be 15 units or less. At the same time, shapes are important for us. So there's a shape here. It's clear that this blue area is a cavity. For precious metals, the red area should be 15 units out of 80. We have a worthless metal here. It's 30 by 50 in size. It's actually detecting the worthless metal here. When I click on the filter section, for example, if I remove the blue, I can see a very clear shape of this area. Or if I remove the green or yellow, I can actually see the cavity very clearly here. I can see there's a part of metal with three squares. So it's about 30 by 50 centimeters, around 60 centimeters of metal. Now there's both metal and the cavity here. I know that. After learning this, I'm now switching to 4D analysis mode. I'm clicking on the second icon from the top. After clicking on this icon, our 4D analysis comes up. What it calls power here relates to the strength of the signal in the soil. Deep factor relates to depth. Surf count has something to do with the soil. Here we can clearly see that our metal is red. In fact, the layer of our metal is clearly visible here. It is a small layer just above our metal. Above that, you can see the normal soil layer we are all familiar with, the soil layer shown in green. When we look right next to this, it's actually flat like this. You can clearly analyze the cavity here in 4D like this. I can also see the cavity here. I can see the layers upon layers here. I can see the shapes more clearly. And I can see more easily the area occupied by the cavity or the metal itself. It allows you to make a clear analysis by separating the layers. I'm going back from here. Here's the setting section. You can also turn it off from here if you want. This is the area where we do 3D analysis. Here, after analyzing in 3D by moving to 4D, you can more clearly analyze the shapes and layers of the metal or cavity here. Thank you for watching us. Hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.